Lubaba TV. Hello, it's another good day that we meet here and it has been a while since we didn't have this session and this is because there are some reasons which were beyond my abilities but good enough we are back and we'll continue to have this session and we'll have a lot of topics which will make you learn a lot and know more about pig farming and the way you can do it in a profitable way and today i want to talk about on piglet management so you get to know many things concerning piglet management how you should keep your pig things you should consider and other important things that you should know and if you have not yet subscribed, I would like to remind you to subscribe and hit the bell so as to be the member of our family. But it's better to share with your friends and family so as they can also learn and know more about this topic of today. But also, I would like to hear something from you. If you have learned new things, it's better to tell us. And if you have something to share with us, it's also better to tell us. So just comment there down and at the right time I will answer your comments and I will share my knowledge. Right guys to go together till the end of this today's session. Together by having a good pig breed but also it's important for you as a farmer to take a good management for your piglets so as to reach at the maturity age. This is very essential because good management will help much in sustaining the lives of your piglets. Without good management your piglet will undergo a lot of diseases but also a lot of problems which might hinder their growth and even end up in death. So I would like to share just some few tips for you farmer and pig keeper to be aware and to know that you should take care of this and you should consider these things. The first important thing is to attend farrowing. Why is it important? When you attend you have, I mean when you attend the farrowing, it increases the chance of survival for your pig because when the pig is giving birth might go or might undergo some difficulties. So when you are there at the farmer, you will be able to assist and to help those pigs who get difficulties during giving birth but also it will give a good chance for you to take good care of those piglets which have been born yet and they have nothing to know concerning this egg so you have to give them good care when you're there when you attend it will be a good starting point point. and the second important thing is colostrum intake this is very important when you talk about colostrum i mean it's a first milk which is produced by the mother so a piglet is must get this first milk because it contain and it's rich in some disease prevention imagroglobin so when the piglet like this it means it will undergo a lot of diseases and for sure it will not reach anywhere it will die because these eye microbes in search for disease prevention will be lacking so any disease which comes will just penetrate and reach inside the piglet body so it's important to for provide and when a mother pig is dead or is unable to produce this cross so it's better find a way that you can get one even if it's an artificial one because it's very important to provide this kind of milk and the last thing I'll talk for today, and I think it's very important, is processing piglets. When I talk about processing piglets, I talk about a back of some activities, which you as a farmer, you should do it to your piglets. And when I talk of those activities, I mean tea scraping, I mean treating the umbilical cord, iron administration, turtle docking, identification, treating the pyrogenic piglets, providing supplemental nutrients and castration. All of those are processing piglets activities all of these activities must be done because each activities perform a specific function an important function let's take an example castration in pig it's very important because it reduces or it control the breeding behavior of your pig and when you talk about teeth creeping it's also important because it reduces the risks which might be produced with the pig with the long teeth so you must do teeth scraping and all of the above and all the mentions before they also play a specific functions and i will find a session where i will be talking each separately for example we talk on teeth scraping i will talk on the castration so as to give you a good chance and a good opportunity for you to learn 
each each management and each practice which i have mentioned here and how role it is is it playing if it's important you will know and if it's not important you will know and for sure hope you have learned something and for today let's end up here if you have question or anything to share don't hide that just just comment that down and they will answer this is Imani Rubaba and this is Rubaba TV. Till next time. Thank you.